Today, I'm gonna to show you how I make the most incredible egg-free, dairy-free, vegan-friendly veggie quiche. One of the things that I really missed when I stopped eating cheese, eggs and milk was quiche. But I found a way to make a delicious quiche which is dairy-free, egg-free and vegan-friendly. To make my vegan pastry today, I am using vegan block. I'm using half a cup of vegan block and one cup of flour and a cheeky pinch of lemon salt. If you've not made pastry before, it's super duper simple and quite therapeutic. Take your vegan block and your flour, rub it between your fingers until it becomes breadcrumbs. Make sure you mix in your pinch of salt and then gradually combine ice cold water little by little until you get a pastry like consistency. It's that simple. Or you can buy it ready-made from the supermarket if you really can't be bothered. It's noisy today here in the Orange Grove, We've got lots of farm machinery, but this is what your pastry should look like when it's finished. So roll it into a ball, pop it in a bowl, and let it chill whilst you're prepping the rest of your quiche ingredients. It's not a traditional way to make quiche, but this is how I make quiche. So let's roll out the pastry. It's really important to keep your pastry cool, but as it's 36 degrees here today, that's quite tricky. I'm gonna break what I need for my quiche dish, and then I'm gonna pop the rest back in the fridge. I absolutely love pastry, so I like it a little bit thick. So I've rolled it out the thickness that I want. I'm going to roll it over my rolling pin backwards, bring in my bowl, and then gently lay it over the top. It's really hot here today, so my poor pastry is suffering a little bit. And then I'm just gonna tuck it in all the way around. And now I'm just gonna take the back of the knife and cut it, cut the excess off. And look at that, I have a lovely, perfect quiche base. And I'm going to bake that in the air fryer for 10 minutes on a high heat. And I'm going to use a, well, the bigger one than this, I'm going to use just a pan lid to stop it rising too much. So it's kind of a blind baking cheat. So get yourself a saucepan lid and pop it on there just to stop the pastry bubbling up. I've chopped up, finally, the same size, one carrot, one zucchini or courgette, and two spring onions. And now I'm going to saute these gently until they're soft in the frying pan with a little bit of olive oil and of course lots of garlic and I'm going to throw in some oregano as well. Here are my veggies, they've been simmering away on the hob and they're really nice and soft. I've got some veggie stock powder, some organic veggie stock powder. I'm going to add maybe just under a teaspoon because it can get very salty. Don't add any extra salt. A whole packet of silken tofu because we don't have any eggs to make the quiche mixture set. We're going to put agar agar in as well. So that's just one teaspoon of agar agar. Sprinkle that on top. I'm going to simmer this gently for five minutes until all of the ingredients are combined and the agar agar has dissolved into the tofu and then it will be ready to add to my quiche pastry base which has just finished baking in the air fryer. Because I make these recipes up on the fly, I forget to tell you things and I added a tablespoon of plain flour into the mix and as you can see it's nice and thick. So it's thick now but it's going to set with the agar agar into a proper quiche egg-like mixture. Look at my perfect quiche pastry base. I put it in, it was eight to 10 minutes on 200 degrees Celsius with the saucepan lid in the middle. Then I took the saucepan lid off and cooked it for another five minutes at 170 and it's perfection. Now we're going to pour this beautiful quiche mixture into the pastry case. looks incredible. That looks so so good. I think I might add some red onion to the top just to give it a little bit more colour. That looks amazing. Absolutely beautiful. 
look at this i want to eat the whole thing i'm going to put it back in the air fryer for five minutes on around 175 just to soften the red onion on the top Crispy pastry and a gorgeous savoury set custard centre made with silken tofu and a little bit of agar agar. As you can see, it's beautifully set, exactly like a normal eggy quiche. But now it's time for the all important taste test. Wow. I think that's better than a traditional quiche. It's got so much more flavour. Beautiful crispy pastry, crumbly pastry, and a lovely thick, savoury custard centre. I'm going to eat the lot. Whoopsie, that's my second slice. Oh smells amazing if you enjoyed my video today don't forget to hit the like button give me a follow and of course share me with your friends